Hello Beginner Dragons, this is Mr. Van and today is going to be the end of the second week uh, for this month. So today we are going to talk about our physical and mental goal, then we're going to do a little warm up and then we are going to uh, do our Idlewine Troll. So first things first, our physical and mental goal, if you guys don't know what they are, they are excellence and integrity. So first we're going to talk about excellence. Um, so what is excellence? We talked about this last week where excellence is basically uh, doing the best that you can and getting better every single time that you do something. So um, that's basically saying that you have to give the most amount of effort that you can into whatever you're doing and then hopefully you can learn something or get better at whatever you're doing um, just by doing the best that you can and giving your best effort into something. So um, there's a few examples that you can do with this. Um, for karate, obviously, you get new belts. So if you guys try your hardest and you learn your forms or your idol and trolls, or um, later, if you guys uh, go to being a blue belt or a green belt, um, you guys learn weapons um, and how to spar. So um, you guys learn these new stuff and if you get better at them and if you um, learn and try your best to get better, then you guys get new belts. And with your new belts, you learn more stuff. And you get better with the older stuff as you go. So stuff like a punch, you might feel like it's a bit of a struggle right now. But as you guys um, get better and as you guys learn and try your best, these punches, these kicks, these things that you are learning right now might just get easier with time and as you guys learn. So that's what excellence is. But now we're going to talk about how excellence is achieved. Obviously, as I said, with karate, if you guys just do it, then you guys are going to get better. But there's also some other stuff that you might be thinking about. So there's obviously competitiveness. If you guys are having a competition, let's say you guys are taking a dance class. Um, if you guys do dance, obviously you guys know that there are some shows or there's competitions or whatever. Then if you guys compete or if you guys do these shows, obviously you don't want to look really bad in front of your family, in front of your friends, in front of whoever, but um, you want to look good. So if you guys want to look good, you guys are obviously going to try your best and you're going to get better with that. So let's say you do this really cool dance move and it's really hard at first, but as you guys keep on practicing it and as you guys do it in competitions, then you guys are going to get better at it and it's going to seem really easy in the end. Um, one example that I um, I can talk about with my experience is uh, with karate. So in karate, I uh, used to do uh, tournaments and I used to compete in tournaments and I used to do uh, demos, uh, which are basically shows to show off how, um, how good at something I am. So, um, this was all before COVID. Now that COVID is happening, uh, obviously I can't do it. But before COVID, um, I learned uh, a form with my weapons. And one of the moves was basically going and flipping the weapon in between my legs and catching it with my hand in front of my legs. So it would go in between my legs from behind and I'd flip it and catch it right over here. Now at the beginning, I felt like it was really hard, but as I kept on practicing and as I tried my best and as I uh, did it over and over and showed off to all my uh, peers and all these judges that I've been competing in front of, um, I got better at it and now it seems really easy to do. Sure, um, it was hard in the beginning, but as I kept on competing and as I kept on showing it off, it got really easy for me and now I can probably do it with my eyes closed. So. Um, that's just one example for me. I'm sure you guys have other examples too. Like if you guys play basketball, you probably know how to do a layup really easily, or you guys know how to dribble really easily without thinking about it and stuff like that. So excellence isn't just about karate. It's also about every aspect in life and you guys can apply it to anything. If you want to be competitive, competitive in anything, obviously trying your best and trying to get better over time is how you be a winner. And that's what you guys want to be in the end of it. So that's what excellence is. Now we are going to talk about integrity. So last week we kind of touched upon what it means where integrity is basically um, 
having a rule book or having a list of rules and morals that you guys live by. And um, on Monday, we talked about how you can see black belts kind of have that moral line too, which is basically um, a rule book that we listen to, which is called the Student Creed. And I gave you a couple examples of um, what we do and uh, what they really stand for. So uh, on Monday, I was talking about how the Student Creed, I'm, uh, how the Student Creed was kind of our rule book, but there's also other rules in um, that we listen to as well. So um, there's a Tung Sudo uh, code, basically, that uh, black belts also have to learn. Um, which basically tell us what we believe in and what um, rules we shouldn't break. Like, um, respecting our families. That's one of the rules, I mean, one of the codes that we live by. Um, basically, it's saying that we should respect our family and respect elders and friends and not treat them poorly. And that's obviously a good rule. Um, and, yeah, that's what we talked about kind of on Monday. But, um you guys can also have integrity. Sure, you're not a black belt, but you guys can have these uh, sets of rules as well. So something like, um, you guys might wanna learn self-discipline, which is basically being able to do what you're responsible for without being told to. So if you guys are at home, maybe you wanna do your homework, but you're too lazy. If you have self-discipline, you'll do it because you need to do it. But if you don't have self-discipline, you'll do it because your mom said to or your teacher said to. So you want to be able to develop this self-discipline because um, that's what you need to do. That's your responsibility. And that's kind of where that rule starts to get put in place. So now one of your rules is something like, I have to do my homework because I have to, or I have to do the laundry, or I have to do this, that, whatever. And that's one of your rules. And you guys can have multiple rules. Like, um, I need to feed the dog or um, I need to take the dog out for a walk and stuff like that. And you will have that rule book and that is what integrity is. But basically, it's basically these rules that you follow because you need to follow them. And that's what big, builds character. That's what makes you, you. Now, now that I've talked about our physical and mental goals, now we are going to talk about our warm up. So for our warm up today, we are going to do push ups and sit ups. So um, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, I hope you guys know how to do a push up, but if you guys don't, uh, you guys are going to get on your hands and your toes like so, making sure that our back is straight like this, our chin is up, and we bring, uh, bend our elbows all the way down and then all the way back up. And that's a push up. So if you guys didn't know that, that's how you do a push up. Now we are going to do a sit-up. Now, a sit-up is pretty simple as well. You guys put your legs kind of like this, where they're bent, but our feet are touching the ground the whole time. We cross our arms like this, so that we don't use our arms to bring in momentum, making it easier for us. We want to just use our core muscles to bring ourselves sitting back up like this. So we lay down, we use our core muscles, not our arms, to bring us back up like that and then bring us all the way back down. So that's one set. We are going to do 10 of those, and then we're gonna take a little break, take a little breather, and then we're gonna do 10 more, take a little break, 10 more, take a little break, and then we're gonna stretch. So that's gonna be our warm up today, and I will see you guys when I'm done with that. We are back from our warm up and now we are going to be doing our idle hand trouble. So um, this part of our idle hand trouble is going to be really short. So um, instead of giving you a lot of details, I want you guys to just practice the motions. So I'm not going to tell you specific stuff like uh, you have to turn your foot 45 degrees or you guys uh, pull back your toes because you want to hit with the uh, ball of your foot or something like that. or um, you want to hit with these knuckles or whatever. I'm not going to give you specific details like that. I'm just going to show you the basic motions so that you guys know um, 
what you guys need to do, what you guys need to practice. And then if you guys are stuck on something like um, the back fist that we're gonna do, um, you guys are free to just practice that motion over and over. And then I can give you details on what you're hitting with or what you guys are actually doing. So um, we are going to do our I don't want trouble now. So we put our feet together like so, we put our hands up like this. We say, I don't want trouble, we get into our guard stance so that our left foot is in the front and our right foot is in the back. Making sure that we have that toe heel line like I always say. Now we get into our guard stance. We do a touchdown, which touches our uh, neck, then bring it all the way down past our knee. Twist and punch, making sure that it's up and down. We turn our foot and we do a front kick, landing forward. We're gonna do that one more time and then you guys can practice just doing the motions. So we get into our guard stance, touchdown, twist and punch, front kick. Now, um, if you guys are struggling with um, just being able to do these basic motions, you guys can do something like um, record yourself and see the difference uh, between what you do and what I do. Or if you see anyone else doing this, you can see um, if you guys are doing it right and what you might, might need to um, focus on. So uh, if you guys are struggling, just record yourself, see what you guys are doing. And if it looks right, then maybe you aren't doing it right. But um, again, I'm not giving you any details because I don't want you guys to struggle on the details. Right now, I basically want you guys to be able to just do it and not really think about what am I hitting with? Um, should I be kicking here? Stuff like that. So uh, with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye.